Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So, Dad, you used both Windows 8, the Consumer Preview Edition, and OS X Lion for the first time this week. Right here, right there in that chair on, on this computer here. Uh, you used them each for about a half hour. You explored about as much as you could explore from each one of the desktops. Uh, I'm curious to know which one felt easier for you. When I was working on the computer here with both of them, uh, I'd have to vote for <laughs> that I, iOS 10. Uh, I guess I like seeing things I was familiar with. And, and again, I'm not sure that was by design or is that, it, or if that's just the way Mac has it set up. But it was nice seeing things that were familiar. Uh, even though they were new to me, and it was a whole new environment working on the screen, I could pick out, well, this is going to do this, this is going to do that, this is going to do this. Now, to get in and use the actual programs, that would be my next step of exploration in both. Uh, Windows just, the Windows 8 just seemed a little more cumbersome to work with for me. Uh, again, I wasn't familiar with it, and I don't want to be unfair, but at the same time, you know, someone going into a store... And without someone there basically putting their hand on top of their hand as they move a mouse around, uh, they're going to have a tough time finding out, well, this is down in this corner, and this is over in this corner, and this is up in that corner. Uh, the navigation part of it is probably, the, uh, for me, the weakest thing. Once I learned how I could move things around, start putting it in my own hierarchy, and once I would get used to that, Again, I might change my mind, but I'm assuming that if I put Excel on there, for example, and picked Excel, it's going to pull up the same Excel I work with now, or Windows 7 Excel, unless they're changing that. And I don't, I don't know because I really haven't seen that yet. Uh, I know I've read some things where they're going, to, they've made some additions and changes to it. I'm not quite sure what those are. But again, that's something, and we talked about it the other day, or I'm not sure if Chris did or I did, but. Uh, once you get used to something, if, you, if you're if you able to do the things you want to do with what you got, why would you want anything else other than have the new experience? Which I've always liked to have the newest things. I'm kind of a toy person. I like the new things. I like to, to work with them and try and figure them out. So did you feel in working completely through Windows 8, let's look beyond the, the problem that we had in, in trying to get you between Metro and Arrow, which was very intentional that you're, you're absolutely the average case. Don't feel bad about it because I've been writing Microsoft on, on making that change before it finally ships. I don't think they're going to listen. Did you find yourself more frustrated or confused in one operating system over the other? Yeah, and that's why I said 10 because I was more frustrated working with the Windows and uh, again, because I was familiar with some of the things I saw on the Mac I felt more comfortable and uh, I didn't feel they were challenging me. When I was on the Windows 8, I felt challenged. I felt like, oh no, they're throwing something new at me. Even though inside those boxes were things I were familiar, I was familiar with, the boxes themselves I was not. So I'd have to get in and see what was inside that box. Uh, so, And I understand what they're probably trying to show the Windows because that's what it's called, Windows. So maybe they ought to look at the icons again you know. so let's let's take a, a side step here you've you played with windows 8 on the desktop mm -hmm. you're familiar with windows this is pretty much what you've you've used for most of your computing life mm -hmm. not you know dos yeah. you know all, all the way of up. it yeah uh you used metro and that's those little tiles the the, the boxes that you're talking okay. about the icons you used it on the desktop with a keyboard and a mouse but you also used it at in the, the Microsoft store. store, yeah, I did with a tablet PC mm -hmm. or whatever they're going to call them. Yeah, and you had a completely different experience yeah, I, with that. But hang on, I'm getting to the question. Okay. When I used it, it was it was very smooth. It was very nice. It was very clean. A little some issues to be worked out, but the the Metro interface of Windows 8 on a tablet or a touch PC was completely different than the experience on the desktop. 
But when I was holding it, I couldn't help but think that they had iPad Envy. In using, for the brief time that you did, granted you've had more time with the iPad, but in using Metro or Windows 8 on that touch experience, how would that compare to your experiences with iOS or the operating system on the iPad? This is the first time I hear these questions, guys, so I'm not... <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say until I say it, but I say what I believe. Um, when I worked with the Windows 8 on the uh, tablet, I felt very comfortable with that. And uh, maybe, uh, maybe the iPad set me up to feel comfortable doing that, or maybe, like Chris kind of suggested, maybe... Uh, they're trying to emulate what Apple's done to uh, get those users that like to swipe. But again, on a tablet, the, the experience I had was a lot different on the tablet than it was on the desktop. Because I was using my fingers and my hands on the tablet, which it is designed for. And I was using a mouse trying to do the same thing that I did on the tablet I was trying to do on a screen. And it, to they were just, for me, it was just a different experience. I didn't like it there, but I kind of thought, well, yeah, I could kind of work with this and slide this around, and it, it was kind of a nice, nice, nice to work with. So when you, when you put them on an even keel, like in terms of the just iPad working with it? or Windows 8, specifically touch. Yeah, just the touch part of it, I'd say they're, right now they'd be pretty equal. Now I'd have to, uh, <laughs> I play games too. So I'd have to try some games on it to see how they look because I did have a small tablet downstairs and I kind of liked the way it looked. Uh, the functionality wasn't as good as the iBook, but the look of the characters, etc., I thought were a little nicer on what I was working with. And that could be contingent on the application that right. was running or what they were showing. Right, and what they're able to show. Because right. now, not only is, if Microsoft's trying to emulate Apple with the iPad, uh, they're already a step behind, in my opinion, based on what I heard just here the other day with the new, the new iPad 3 HD, or it's whatever they're going to call. It's got higher resolution. But yeah, that's uh, so now that's going to be better. In fact, if I did some further reading on the uh, new iPad, it's going to have a better quality than a lot of the TVs we watch. That's pretty amazing when you, you think, I watched a basketball game today and I, you know, the quality and the appearance of everything in HD is, is pretty phenomenal. So my guess is when the three, or when the new iPad gets here, it's going to be pretty phenomenally graphically. Now I think all the other features are pretty much the same. Yeah, I know they got a better camera and this and that, but I'm not sure I'd want to carry a big thing to take a picture. So let me ask you this then. The iPad, the base iPad is $500. It's a pretty good price. Would you buy an iPad at $500 or a Windows 8 PC at $500 if they are that low? Because they may very well be more expensive than iPads. Okay, so ignoring everything else and right. just based on price? Right. Well, just based on price, I would probably try the uh, Microsoft or the Windows 8 tablet because I know by the time they get the applications, I could probably get an Excel. I'm thinking what I'd use it for. I could get an Excel worksheet, which I already know. And I get a Word application, I already know. Okay, so what if the PC was $800? And the iPad was five hundred dollars. What would you go with? Would you still go if with the PC? tablet? Yeah, the tablet PC. Well, I would probably stay with the iPad just because of the price point. So if I already Microsoft, know what the iPad can do. Right. So if Microsoft, in conjunction with its partners, does not deliver Windows Eight in a touch experience at the five hundred dollar price point base level, in terms of the features that you would get with that particular computer you would go with the lower price option. I would, but there's a lot of people that are price conscious. So they're going to buy what they can afford. Uh, I've always had the belief that uh, in this world, and I hate to say it this way, but you get what you pay for sometimes. And 
so price point though important it shouldn't be the top important thing you, you need to look beyond that my guess is if a person like me is very familiar with windows and if the price was close they're going to lean towards windows just because they know the name windows and if they're used to mac and working in the mac environment they're going to lean that way as long as it's within the hundred dollars because yes, that's you, what they know yeah but you, but you say that but you've never used a mac before no but ios the, the ipad operating system the iphone operating system was intuitive to you yeah, it was easier to work with right. on the screen, yeah. So let me ask you this question. Beyond Excel, how much computing do you do on the quote-unquote computer, the PC, versus your iPad or iPhone? How much time do you spend at your computer, doing. not in Excel, working, do it, playing, whatever? Is it, it, it? My computer is more just uh, using the numbers and the... Uh, PDF or Adobe and uh, Word documents. I very sal I don't play any games on that. I used to use a flight simulator, but I've gone to the iPad because I use the iPad now for my surfing and that kind of surfing, gaming. Um, Why? Uh, convenience. I can be in front of the TV and but reach you over and grab it. And, yeah, I'm but the laptop itself. I understand, but the laptop's still a little more more cumbersome than a, than a, than the iPad. I mean, it's still pretty pretty large. It's heavier. Uh, my guess is the uh, look, what you see is going to be pretty much the same. But I think it's just a lot more convenient to hold it in your hand. I can hold it with one hand and not my arm won't get tired. And I can move. And I'm just a one-finger typer, so I can move things a lot easier on an iPad. All right. So will you get Windows 8? Uh... I'm not sure. I stayed away from Vista, and to be honest, I wouldn't have Windows 7 had a, had XP still been available. And again, some of this may be my age. I just, I just maybe I don't like change that much, but I've always changed, so, so I'm not you, locked into something. What you what you played with the other day, the consumer preview, that's not something you'd want to buy. Not not based on what I saw, no, because there was nothing there that a trip. My trigger. So let me ask you this then: Would you be willing to buy OS 10, not not a Mac, the computer, the operating system? Would you be willing to buy that based on your experience? Yeah, if I was if I was making a decision simply based on what I said here the other day and did well two different days on a desktop days, with a computer with a keyboard and a mouse, I, I would have went with the Mac because it just seemed easier to work with for me. Now again, you got to get in there and learn and see what you can do and what you can't do. So. Anything else you want to say on the topic? Uh, no, I, uh, I'll probably see you all Monday, but uh, I really enjoy this, and uh, you guys are a great group, and uh, I can't tell you how much I've learned uh, just reading what you guys post, and you have good sense of humor, and I like reading all the business-type things, so thank you.